welcome back. We continue with more of my conversation with Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. You've correlated the sort of hostile tone in the country right now and what the brand CEO and president calls truth decay, where, you know, sort of no one agrees to a set of facts anymore, it seems, to a lack of civics education. How do you make that connection? I think myself included, and most people my age are close to it, do remember studying social studies. Now, um, the uh, percentage of classroom time devoted to social studies is about 7%. That's at a historic low. Uh, what happened? If you look at the history of the decline of social studies in schools across the country, you will start noticing the rise of partisanship and, um, and the decrease in civic participation. The two are directly correlated. If people don't understand that their voice is important, not just in the po polling booth, because that's one aspect of civic participation. The other is in expressing their views on issues. The top Google searches uh, this right around this past midterm election was um, one, how to vote, and two, how to register to vote, which to me was like a little late in the game, people. <laughs> We're actually thinking about developing a game called How to Vote. And it's pretty sad, 50% of the population can't name one Supreme Court justice. And of that 50% who can name somebody, it's not somebody currently on the court. Thurgood Marshall was one of the, the more popular going for Thurgood picks. Marshall. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> yes, know. and he is no longer on the court. <laughs> and 15% of the population can name the chief justice, John Roberts. Um, those are I sad statistics. I really want statistics. to bang my head into this table. That's depressing. So what's a worse statistic of all? One third of young people don't believe that democracy is important. A in the United States? In the United States. That's a shocking figure. That is more troubling to me than anything else. Chief Justice Roberts um, was responding to something that the president had said. Uh, he called someone an Obama judge, and he said this, quote, we do not have Obama judges or Trump judges, Bush judges or Clinton judges. We have an extraordinary group of dedicated judges doing their level best to do equal right to those appearing before them. How do you remove politics from something that is teed up? Politically. Our founding fathers figured it out. Give us lifetime tenure. We're not beholden to any president. Mm. No president can remove us from office if they're unhappy with the way we're voting. You recently were at the Capitol um, paying tribute to John McCain. Yes. Who did not support your confirmation. That is absolutely And a correct. lot of people were like, why go? For someone who, who literally could not have, have been more clear that he did not think you should be a Supreme Court justice. He was a great patriot. And he was a war hero. And he served our country with all of his being. To the very last breath he took. How could you not admire a person like that? Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. So nice to chat with you. Thank you. It was lovely to see you, Soledad.